Welcome to Random Vlogs. Thank you everyone for sticking with my channel to watch all the videos. Today's video is about the all-new Mercedes-Benz EQG, the full electric SUV that is to be released in the near future. Enjoy the video, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment with what you would like to see next below. Hi everyone and welcome at the IAA Mobility in Munich in 2021. My name is Jessica and I have the honor to do an exclusive walk around today with you and with this fascinating concept EQG. With this, we are reinventing an off-road icon and I have two experts today who are ready to go to tell us more about this fascinating G-Class. First of them is Emmerich Schiller, who is the head of our off-road vehicle division and the CEO of our Mercedes-Benz G-Class. Hi Emmerich. Hi Jessica. Hi everybody. Uh, I would like to welcome you to the presentation of the all-new EQG concept. Emmerich, question of all questions is, of course, will the electrically powered G-Class be a real G-Class? Quick answer, yes, it will. Okay. We will stick to our DNA. And I think you have part of the answer right in front of you. Even the formal relationship between, let me say, the conventional G and the concept EQG is very obvious. Here. And um, what you see here is not just a show car. This car, it was our first prototype. Okay. And honestly, it's ready to drive. Really? Yes, but before we go more in detail, I would like to hand over to Achim and he will explain the design of the car more in detail. Hi Achim, good to have you here. Nice to be here. Achim, as an exterior designer, you know all about the EQG and you know all about the iconic design elements that make a G a real G for over 40 years now. So what about its look in an all-electric future? Well, first of all, the significant appearance of the G-Class and the independent character made the G-Class, as we say, stronger than time. In the end, if we talk about character, you know, it does need decades to build up a strong character. But we've definitely managed to basically give it an extra facet towards the future, the next decades of the G-Class. Okay, I'm curious to know more about that. When we talk about character, what I immediately recognized are these round headlights. We know this iconic and familiar design element from the G-Class. What else do we have here? See, that's the thing. You always look at the eyes first, you know? Yeah. And if you see the round eyes and you see the square yeah. facet around it, yeah. I think it's interesting to see that we basically managed this detail. Have you heard about the word squircles? Never. <laughs> okay, see, let me show you. Okay. You know, we do have this round lamps yeah. with a square, yeah. and we just combined it to, you know, the word squircle, and okay. we used this word squircle, and we did do some squircles here, you know? Ah, okay. All these here. little things are squircles. Okay, okay, you know? now I got it, yeah, okay. I see. <laughs> and this is something which is really new, mm -hmm. and uh, the next thing is, since we do have a strong character on the G-Wagon today, a G stays a G, you know? Sure. But the next thing is we want to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. We want to bring some of the EQ elements to yeah. the car. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And one of the very important EQ elements is the black panel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that from the other EQ models. So this shows sustainability. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is with the black panel, we have a very strong and very unique expression in the front. Mm -hmm. So one thing, We've managed to reduce chrome. There's no chrome on the front. Okay, yeah, you know? now as you say it, okay, I see. And uh, we replaced it through light. Mm -hmm. okay. So we basically show electricity through light. Through light, correct. Okay, I like that. Okay, Achim, we got the front. Now let's talk about the side of the EQG. You want to show me? Can't wait, Jessica. Perfect. So what I immediately recognize, because it's pretty obvious, <laughs> is this pretty two-tone paint. That's true, you hit it. You know, the everlasting, bold, big G, it's a monument. You can see it from the side. If you want to get an extra facet on the car, you know, a little bit special, yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to underline the progressive luxury on the car, we thought we'd do it with a two-tone. Okay, that definitely worked. And what I also recognized is this slim light band. We know that from other EQ models, right? That's what we had in the front already. On the side, the light band, which changes light mm -hmm. from white to blue. Okay. You know, this indicates electric power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a G, yet electric. Yeah, okay. And great. coming back to the lamp. 
to the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the circle? Yeah. Within a square? Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, remember? yeah, again. Jessica, let's talk about wheels. Okay, let's do this. And you see this wheel? We've just designed our own tire for the show car. Really? You did? Okay. It's a special profile to the tire. Mm -hmm. And of course, the most important on the car are wheels. You know, look at this deep dish, you know, it looks so nice. This makes the car. Okay. You know, wheels really make a difference on the car. So we've really spent a lot of time to do this mechanical look to it. Mm -hmm. It's all aluminum, yeah. brushed aluminum. I love them. They fit the car so well. Yeah, and they are huge, to be honest. How big are they? 22 inch. That's the maximum <laughs> you can have on the car. Okay, I see. Perfect, Achim. We got the front, we got the side. We want to talk about the back now. I think good idea. Okay, let's do this. So there's one thing I'm really excited about because there's one thing that is pretty iconic for the G-Class, the spare wheel cover. So what happened to that? You're so right. It's a G yet electric. Yeah. So we thought we'll give it a lock box mm -hmm. where you can store your cable mm -hmm. or whatever you want. Okay. And of course it's lit. Yeah, again. Like in the side, like in the front. So we do want to make sure that this car is electric. So when we talk about light, there's another thing I recognized. It's this red light up here. What about that? Well, the red light is part of the roof rack. Mm -hmm. And that's an element we haven't talked about up to now. Yeah. Well, you can't really see it from here because it's quite high, but it's important to indicate it with the red light. Mm -hmm. It shows electric. But if you look from the top, you will see there's a stamped G on top, which oh. is an homage on the big G. Yeah. EQG on the roof. So if we do have the red light up here, what about the front? I'll show you. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> so Jessica, here it is. Okay. That's our searchlight. I see. Essential for a car like this. But even more important for us in the show car, because this will light up the path to the future of the G-Class. <laughs> so thank you very much, Ahim, for showing us around and for explaining all the electric but still iconic G-Class details. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about the inner values of our electric G-Class. And for this, I'm heading back to Emmerich, who knows all the technical details, right? So Jessica, now let's talk about technology. Definitely. I think, I think technology is something where the G-Class set the standard for the last 40 years. It has, but to be honest, what's hard for me to imagine is that the electric G-Class will be capable of the same off-road performance like the conventional G-Class. Well, quite frankly, when we started the discussion to electrify the G-Class, I was a little skeptical myself. Okay. But the more we discussed it and the more we understood the technology and the more we understood the possibilities of that technology, mm -hmm. we decided to go. Okay. And from today's perspective, it was absolutely the right decision at the right time. Okay, so tell me, how did you manage that? How do you guys work? So we have a really small team, but everybody in this team is a real expert in his field and everybody is to more than 100% dedicated and committed to that, uh, to that program. Mm -hmm. And uh, the team is coming up with so many unique ideas to transfer the conventional G-Class okay. into the, I would say, the best electrified uh, off-road vehicle in the future. Okay. And I'm really proud to be part of that team. It's, it's really cool. So can you tell me more about the technical concept? Well, the technical heart of every electric car is the electric powertrain. Sure. But there is something special with this car. Mm -hmm. It comes with four electric motors close okay. to each wheel. And this is nothing off the shelf. It's uh, tailor-made and, and it's tailor-made to, to meet the specific needs of an electrified G-Class, of an electrified off-road vehicle. Interesting. What does that mean? Well, this means that the four motors can be controlled individually. Okay. Which means that the wheel can run on different, or the four wheels can run at different speed and can run on, with different torque. Okay. And this is really cool. So, for example, if you have loose ground and have no grip on one wheel, mm -hmm. you can really move the torque to the other wheels and overcome the problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can have the same in a conventional car, yeah. but therefore normally you have a con uh, differential lock. Okay. Uh, it's the same, uh, but with this uh, torque vectoring, as we call it, you have many more abilities and possibilities. And this is uh, the difference. We use it and the team is coming up with ideas we would have never thought about uh, when we start the program. Okay, perfect. So to me, this sounds like the electrification of the G-Class comes with a lot of advantages, true? Yes, I, I would even say we open a new chapter of off-road driving. Okay. So for example, the um, individual control of the wheel speed, as I said before, yeah. 
uh, is an advantage off-road as well as on-road. Pretty cool. What else can you tell me about the technical concept? Well, another highlight will be a two-gear transmission with, a, with an off-road reduction. Similar to a low range you have in a conventional car, but again with additional possibilities. And another thing which was clear from the beginning, we will not compromise on any, uh, let me say, off-road capability of the G-Class as it is today. Sure. So, for example, the climbing angle or the fording depth. This is nothing which is a compromise. But I hope you're not too angry with me if I do not tell any secret today. Well, but there, okay. well, okay, but there's something I can really say. I was out on the test track yesterday mm -hmm. before I came to Munich mm -hmm. and it was so cool. And what I can really say, this car will be a in in real incredible off-road vehicle in the future. Okay. And I, I am sure, and I think you said it in the beginning, we will really set a new standard uh, in, in this field. Okay, I'm pretty excited to see that. Which brings me to the battery. Does the battery have an influence on the off-road capabilities? Yes, but in a positive way. Okay. Uh, as we integrate the battery into the ladder frame, we reduce the center of gravity of the car, mm -hmm. and therefore we reduce the tipping uh, uh, tendency of the car, which is, which is uh, favorable, which is a good thing. So we can assure the EQG will still be at home in the wild and on paved roads, of course. I think there is no doubt. you can be sure there is no doubt about it. Uh, for me, the EQG is the perfect fusion of uh, Mercedes-Benz heritage, of uh, the outstanding off-road capabilities of the, of the G-Cars as it is, and uh, the technological progress EQC stands for. So from, from my perspective, uh, the EQG is uh, the basis for the uh, success story uh, for the next decade of the G-Class, so for sure. And the team is working very, very hard every day, but it's also hard fun to see the success we make there. Definitely. Sounds to me like the G-Class Electric brings the best of two worlds together. Yes, of, yes, of course. It's uh, the boldness of the G-Class on the one hand and its uh, progressive luxury and sustainability EQ stands for. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Emmerich, for showing us all the technical details. It was my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. And thank you guys for joining and for watching. So if you want to know more about the EQG, you can jump in our website, mercedesbenz.com, or you can check out all our social media channels. Thank you very much for having us today. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the full video and stay tuned for more. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment and share. Most importantly stay safe.